and India made history on August 23rd. Chandrayaan-3 landed successfully on the moon's south pole. For more perspective on how this impacts and helps India's emerging private space sector, beyond senior correspondents, Dhat MP spoke to Pavan Goenka, chairman of InSpace. The organization serves as a regulator for the private space sector. Take a listen. We're being joined by Dr. Pawan Goenka. He's the director of InSpace. This is the uh, sort of ISRO's arm that facilitates startups and private industries to play a larger role in India's space program and, you know, enlarge the size of India's space economy. So tell us how momentous is this, particularly from the perspective of private industry. Well, uh, the momentousness of this event cannot be described. It is, it is bigger than life. Okay. And uh, no one can expect to see what we are seeing here today in this hall. All of you are here, everybody is getting mobbed, all TV cameras. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Okay? Uh, now, impact that, we, that you're talking about, clearly this scientific mission uh, and the industry right now, uh, for some time to come, will not directly be involved in conducting scientific mission. But there are a lot of rub-off benefits uh, that will come, to, uh, come from this, both for the industry and for the space economy and overall space sector. Number one is I think the overall credibility of India's space program globally goes up by a notch. <clears throat> uh, and it's after a long time there has been a successful moon landing of anyone and that really puts India in a very high plane. And that will bring a lot of the companies into India uh, and work with our Indian companies to, vent, to, to sort of source components and joint ventures and so on and so forth. And the Indian companies also uh, will start getting more confidence in the future of the space sector, which will bring in investors. That's very important. And with investors coming in, I think the whole momentum of the Indian private sector will also go. So you mentioned investors. This also includes uh, foreign direct investment into India's space sector for the first time in India's history. Tell us more what we can expect. Well, uh, FDI obviously is a very key part uh, for uh, overall uh, uh, growth of the private sector, uh, especially for the startups because they depend on investors investing money. And right now, uh, a lot of that money comes from outside India. Uh, and that's the reason we are working on the FDI policy to make it easier uh, for the foreign companies or foreign investors to come into India and invest in the Indian space sector. So in terms of the second private rocket built in India to be launched, tell us more. What can we expect from the, uh, you know, Agnikul Cosmos? Well, it's, uh, it should be happening very soon. Uh, this is a pre-orbital launch. Uh, and uh, after that, of course, just like uh, in case of Skyroot, they will go for orbital launch.